The last major consideration in setting up a hierarchy before you create any links is to set the rotation order for the three X, Y, and Z axes. In 3D, there is actually an order to operations. You don't see that order. It's not a chronological order. It's a logical order. And in 3D, generally speaking, an object is going to be positioned and then rotated and then scaled in that order, logically. And even within rotations, there is an order of operations to the rotations. An object will have a priority of rotations. You can almost think of it as the rotation axes having their own hierarchy. Let's see what that looks like. I'll select the shoulder object, go to the Rotate tool, and I'm in Gimbal Reference Coordinate System. And let's make the Transform Gizmo a bit larger just to make it even more clear. You can use the equal sign on your keyboard to make that gizmo larger, okay? Or the minus sign to make it smaller. There, it's nice and big on our screen. In gimbal mode, if I rotate in a single axis, I may or may not see the other axes follow along. Let's say I rotate in the x-axis, which is the red circle here. When I do that, I don't see the other axes change. If I rotate in Y, however, I do see a change. Notice how the X axis is following. It's almost as if the X axis is connected to the Y axis. You could think of it as the Y axis is the parent of the X axis. Then likewise with the Z axis, if we rotate in Z, the other two axes follow along as if they were children. I'll undo that. There's an internal order to the rotations here. And what's happening is the x-axis is happening first, the y-axis is happening next, and the z-axis is happening last. And because of that, the z-axis is the most important one because it's driving the orientation of the other two axes. That's not really the optimal situation for this shoulder. What I really want is I want the z-axis to be the least important one because that's the swivel axis around which that shoulder joint's going to spin. And a shoulder does not really have very much range of motion in that axis. Therefore, it shouldn't be the most important one. It shouldn't be the parent of the other axes. It should be the least important one. It should be the child of the other axes. We can switch that up. With that object selected, we can go over to our command panels and choose the motion panel. That's one we haven't seen yet. Within that motion panel, we can choose rotation here. So. Let's click on rotation here and we'll be able to see the rotation parameters. And then once we do that, we will see a little pull down that says Euler parameters. Euler was the mathematician who originally developed the math behind all of this. And the Euler parameters include the axis order. I'm gonna change that over so that the Z axis is least important. And that means it should be first in the list. The optimal order for that shoulder rotation is actually Z, X, Y. So I'll choose that from the pull-down list. Let's look for that Z, X, Y. Now, when I did that, you notice that the object spun around. It rotated a little bit. That's not really a problem because we can fix that really easily. With angle snaps turned on, I can just restore that back by rotating it. Okay, and now with that having been done, we get a different behavior when we rotate in gimbal mode. If I rotate in X, you'll notice that the Z axis follows along, but the Y axis does not. If I rotate in Y, then both of the axes follow because Y is the most important axis. It's the parent. It's the last one to be calculated. And then the Z axis is the least important. It's gonna happen after the other two rotations or it's the ultimate child of that whole system. I'll undo that. We wanna do that for both of the shoulders and the hips to get the optimal results for rotations. Just select that shoulder, switch its axis order over to ZXY, and then fix the rotation. Just run that back over there. And then we can do the same for these, ZXY. And that didn't need to be rotated. It stayed where it was, and that's fine. Cool. So figuring out what are the most significant axes of rotation and giving those priority will help you avoid problems later with your object spinning around in strange directions. So figure out what is the most significant axis and you want that to be the last one in the list of rotation order. 
and the least significant axis should be the first one in the list. That's how we set the optimal axis order rotation for hierarchies.